realtors, is there such thing as etiquette? Is there a, a line that you're just not supposed to cross between one another? So here's my question to you. Let's start with the scenario first. Say you're working a buyer. You have a buyer, you've been showing them 10, 12, 15 houses. Most of us do not go get a buyer broker agreement signed. Nothing wrong with that. Most of the time they still work with you. They use your attorney, they use your lender, they look up to you for advice, etc. You don't ask them to sign a buyer broker agreement. Say you can't go to one open house. You say, listen, feel free, drop on my business card, go to the open house, no big deal. Client goes to the open house, they ask them when you get there, hey, do you have a, you know, do you have an agent? They say yes, they sign in, they go see the property. Standard stuff here, nothing to worry about, everybody's happy. Client gets to go see the house, listen, we, we understand, maybe they asked last minute to go see it, you weren't available, you had appointments, whatever the case may be. Then the buyer says, I love this style house, I love the quality of the work from this builder, but this is not the house for me, do you have anything else? Now, as the agent that is representing the seller, do you then say, do you have a buyer broker agreement with your agent? They're gonna say, no, because they don't. So then they say, oh, okay, I could show you properties then. I, could, I have two other properties that I could show you that are coming to the market soon. They're not on the market yet from the same builder. Now, to me, that's just crossing the line. I would love to hear your input because if I walked in and I said, I have an agent, my next question, if they say I love the house, would be, okay, well, I do have other properties coming that the same builder is building. I can send them over to your realtor if you guys want to come and see them. Not, do you have a buyer broker agreement and then basically weasel your way into the deal to take that client away from that old agent. Um, to me, that's just bad business, bad etiquette. You should never be doing that. Um, but I would love to hear from you. This was a scenario that happened recently, and you know what? I'm curious to see what realtors think about this situation. Would you ever ask in a buyer that said they had an agent and they signed in, then do you have a buyer broker agreement after the fact and then try to go and show them other properties and basically steal that client? Or would you just hold your integrity and basically do the right thing etiquette-wise and say, listen, who is your realtor? I would love to send them these properties for you to show them when they come on the market, etc. That's the route I would have gone. So what is your take on proper etiquette for a realtor?